Hello, and welcome to Maeda211.com. I'm George Stefanik, and this evening we're going to be reviewing the WZ Cook application. For those of you that aren't familiar with WZ Cook, it's an application when deployed on a workstation will reveal the static weapon pre-share keys. WZ, uh, the WZ Cook application uh, can be found in the Aircrack NG or standalone application as I have here on my desktop. It's been widely known uh, for a while now that web and pre-share keys can be exploited with particular applications over the air. Not a lot of folks realize that this can be easily deployed via USB stick onto a victim's workstation. How does it work? It's rather simple. If you're a user and you use Windows Zero Config as your management platform for your wireless client, you're at risk of uh, showing your static web or pre-share keys. So we're going to get started here. We're going to first launch WZ Cook, and you're going to notice that nothing comes up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create two networks. The first network we're going to call ASCII, A-S-C-I-I, -I, and the web key is going to be ASCII, A-S-C-I-I. Now, ASCII can be 5 or 13 characters. The second network we're going to set up, we're going to call hex. And the hex can be 10 or 26 hexadecimals. In this example, we're going to use the number 5 10 times. Okay, now we're going to hit OK, and we're going to launch, launch WZ Cook, and you're going to see here that we have our two SSIDs, the hex, which came across as uh, 10 number fives, and then the ASCII. Now, our web key at the time, we labeled as ASCII, but it was converted over to hexadecimal, and what we're going to be able to do is, is I'm going to show you a neat little conversion tool. This will actually create and store this file in your C drive under web keys. Now I made a shortcut to this and here is my ASCII key. I'm just going to cut and paste that. Come over to this Java kit. Uh, under the hexadecimal ASCII, I'm going to enter that here. Hit calculate and voila. There's a string up here. Now you're probably wondering where the registry keys are stored. If you run regedit, you're going to notice that you have a local machine, and if you follow that down, it's rather self-explanatory, WZC, SVC, and you're going to notice that under the interfaces of this, you're going to have a number of those interfaces, and you're going to look for the ones that say static. Boom, there we go. Here's the two statics that we just entered. So Windows Zero Config goes into the registries, pull these up, and bring them to the top for you for easier viewing. Um, if you're a user and you use Windows Zero Config, especially if you're an enterprise user, um, this video pretty much speaks for itself. It's really quick to deploy something as simple as putting on a USB stick, getting over to a workstation, and within a few seconds gathering the web key or pre-share keys rather quickly. And at that point in time, your network's pretty vulnerable. If you're a home user, the same thing can happen, but unlikely that your neighbor's going to come over and use this application. However, this is more informative for you in case perhaps you forgot your web key or pre-share key. Um, there is one thing that you want to note with the pre-share keys. When they do create that, that hexadecimal, you want to be very careful on how it's read um, in, into your converters. Well, I hope you found that this, uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And again, I'm George Stefanik. Thank you.